Welcome back to another video. This is a long overdue update video on the ombre powder brows. Now these brows have been on for a little over two years. For reference, my skin type is an oily T-zone, so they held up very well, wore that SPF. I'm not wearing any makeup and they do look fairly natural compared to how they looked before because I didn't really have any brow hairs and they were super thin from over plucking. I will link that video at the end of this one uh, but today we're actually going to have them touched up so i'm going to share with you the whole process and of course we'll be sharing how the brows turned out after they fully healed hi everyone i'm christine from beauty fx inc here in northridge and i do permanent makeup lash extensions facials a lot starting to get into paramedical so a lot of inkless stretch mark um, revision and camouflage POV, getting the brows done by Christine. It's been two, a little over two years. Christine measured the brows to make sure that the sketch was symmetrical with my face shape as well as everything was aligned. And at this point, this is where I can tell her if I think it's a little bit too thick or too thin, but I really do like the brow shape. And then she applied the numbing cream, which you have to sit in, I think for about 15, 20 minutes. They're like, well, they're gonna fade, but they are. Yes, angry they're bird vibes. Yeah, they're really dark yes. right now, but it's okay. Trust the process, right? Exactly. Trust the process. They will fade about twenty to forty percent from what they are today, um, and then it will. The color will kind of resurface, but it won't fade as much as it did the very, very first time because there, it there's pigment that it is able to hold on to this time around. These are how the brows look later on that evening. They were really dark, not even gonna lie. It took some getting used to, but you have to trust the process. This is the first full day with the brows. They're really dark. No scabbing yet. I'm actually about to apply the aftercare ointment. Day two of the brows, they have not scabbed yet. They still are pretty dark, but no scabbing. So maybe tomorrow we'll see a bit of scabbing. Day three and the brows are starting to scab. It's very prominent on the right brow. You can feel it and it's starting to look very patchy it does not look good in person but you just kind of have to deal with it on the left side you can definitely feel the scabbing um but it's not as bad as the right day four with the brows and they are really scabbing it uh looks really bad in person it looks like um like scales in a way but they're scabbing you just have to keep it moisturized with the aftercare ointment which i'm about to apply don't mind the under eye patches but this is day five and they are flaking and scabbing it doesn't look pretty even applying the ointment i can feel where it's scabbing in person it looks a little bit like a snake shedding its skin day six update the scabbing is completely gone on both brows they do look a lot lighter than how they looked of course a week ago uh so we'll give it a few more days to see if uh they need to be touched up update day seven 
The brows look amazing. Uh, yesterday they did look a little bit faded, but today the color is definitely back. That pigment. We're a little short of a month, but these are how the brows look. Love the way how they turned out. I think it looks as natural as possible. Uh, without any makeup on and that's really what I like about it because I don't want the brows to be too dark without any makeup on Of course when I do have on a full face of makeup, that's when I do fill them in So these are the brows up close and personal. It's not as zoomed in as the other ones Wanted to quickly share how the brows look when we're wearing eye makeup Just feel like it's not balanced because it's not as defined as I would like it to be Personal preference, but we are gonna fill them in. We're back with a full face. We didn't go too crazy with the makeup today but these are how the brows look when they're filled in I did use the ABH dip brow sometimes I do use a pencil depending on the mood if I'm just going to the gym sometimes I don't even fill them in you know I barely have any real brow hairs and they're really really thin and sparse so having the ombre powder brows done a little over two years ago it was an investment but it was well worth the money how much easier it is knowing that you just have on brows all the time you don't go out looking. Well, I always thought I looked a little bit on the scary side without any brows because they were so super thin. Really has been a game changer. We'll also have to see how long the touch-up lasts because first time around it did last me about two years, which is pretty good considering that I do have an oily T-zone, normal in the cheek area. So I was really surprised that it didn't fade sooner. And that's the thing about waiting too long if you wait too long to have them filled in you might have to actually repeat the whole process and you definitely don't want to do that so make sure once you start to see that they're fading not too much make sure you go in for your touch up i know it is a process and the healing process can be a little bit of a pain especially once they start to scab it doesn't look pretty, but trust the process because it is worth it in the end. Christine does an amazing job with ombre powder brows. She also does microblading. She does a whole bunch of other things as well. I'm going to make sure to leave all her information down below in the description box. I'm also probably going to pin it in the comments. So I hope you found this video helpful and also found it entertaining. Let me know if you have gotten your brows done, ombre powder, microblading, what was your experience? Has it been a game changer for you? I'd love to get your feedback, your thoughts. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. We'll be back with more beauty content. Anyway, have an amazing, wonderful week. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next video. Mwah.